My name is Francisco Luis Roque. I am lead system engineer at Washtenaw Community College. I was introduced to Unix about 22 years ago, and I started working in IT about 17 years ago. Uh, back then, I knew very little. When I was first introduced to, the, to Unix, a friend of mine told me what LS did, told me what MV did, but it was pretty much meaningless to me. They were just tools. But over the years, I've come to become much more familiar with those tools and realize that these fundamental skills, they're really kind of like a language that builds on itself to do much more higher order tasks. One of the essential skills I use on the job is my ability to program. I'm not a programmer by trade, but I need to be able to know how to program. If I ever find myself doing a task more than once or twice, then that's the place where I need to write a little script to do it for me. When you can think logically about what steps are required to solve a problem, then you've essentially just laid out an outline for how a program or a script is going to work to solve that problem for you. And once you've done that, you just add in the language of, of your choice to write this program or script, and you never have to do that task again. You just have to call that command that you just wrote. Most of my day is spent looking at a terminal screen, which is just a window with text on it. And I have to be able to focus on that window, looking at nothing but text for maybe hours on end, depending on the kind of problem I'm trying to solve. So I have to be able to focus on that window and look for just the right text maybe that is going to be the solution to my problem. Another essential skill is being able to think abstractly. On the one hand, in, in computers, you have this physical level of things. That is, the actual machines, that thing that your programs actually run on. But then there's also the logic or virtual level that, uh, that is, is a, well, it's a virtual level. It doesn't really exist. It doesn't even necessarily correlate to the actual physical l layer of things. And you need to be able to wrap your mind around this totally virtual layer and, and maybe this logical layer that of, of how you think things should work but isn't necessarily what the underlying physical processes are. While my primary focus has been on the operating system, if I'm going to be a great system engineer, I also have to have really good database skills, really good networking skills, really good security skills, and really good programming skills. Another essential skill is really being able to understand what your client needs. You might have somebody come to you and say, I need a program that does X but they don't really need a program that does X. They might be trying to solve some other problem, but they don't have the knowledge of the, the tools available to know exactly what it is that they need. You need to be able to talk to your clients, understand their needs, and then translate those needs into your IT solution. They really are fundamental skills. There's nothing that I do now that doesn't rely on, on being able to, on remembering these commands from so long ago. Uh, it's kind of like speaking. I, if, if I didn't know what the word the meant, then how would I be able to speak? And it's the same way knowing these base commands, whether it's ls, mv, cp, any of these things that sound like just letters that I'm rattling off, but they actually mean something in Linux. Beyond that, there are, they, they've started to form in me the, the fundamental concepts that, that Linux is built on, like uh, things like everything is a file, and things like keeping your commands simple and making complex things out of, out of very simple base elements. These are core commands upon which the rest of the work that you might do is built. Linux itself is used in pretty much every internet service you might use. It, whether it's, even, even if you're not running Linux on your desktop at home, which you probably aren't, uh, even if you're not running it on your phone, all of the services that your phone or your computer talk to, chances are there's some Linux involved there at some level. So, if you know Linux, if you know those fundamentals, then you can understand the, the more complex things that Linux can do and well, be a part of the internet yourself.